Okay. Where are we? What is this? What? What is this place? Oh, it's the clinic, right. Okay. Look like a homeless shelter or something. Good day. Please excuse us. Oh, Grant, is it you? Yes. But wait a moment. Watson. It's been years. Since the Faculty of Medicine, if my memory serves me right. Yes, we were young and ambitious. <laughs> I didn't expect to find you here. I thought you had gone to America. No. I find that I prefer the filth here, amputating gangrenous legs. Ah. <laughs> I'm joking, Watson. Unfortunately, I was unable to leave for Washington. I had to give up surgery. So instead, I crouched down in this rat hole, rubbing shoulders with the world's misery. Grant, treating those in need is a noble calling. You underestimate the importance of your work. If you say so. It's true that in the beginning I felt as you do, but as time goes by, the more this cursed area seems like hell. You think that nothing can get worse, and the next day you see that it can. Now famine has hit these poor wretches. One can't always do as one might prefer when one is a doctor. Grant, I'd like to introduce you to Sherlock Holmes. Pleased to meet you. Well, no one comes here by chance, therefore I imagine that you need something in particular. How can I help you? I like how Holmes just walked away in the beginning of their conversation. Like, he was clearly so just uninterested in what Watson had to talk to his friend about. Dr. Grant, we are in possession of a scalpel which was found in an unusual location. Does it come from your dispensary, as we believe? From its mark, I'd say it was stolen from us. A lot of things disappear from here, you understand? Life is hard in Whitechapel. When the staff find a way of adding to their salary, they rarely hesitate to do so. Thank you, Doctor. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. Grant, do you think Watson could be a murderer? I mean, you're friends with him, right? Like, in all your times in medical school, did you ever think that... Uh, maybe we should be talking in private. Oh, boy. That's kind of weird. Oh, I can't just go! All right, good. Oh, I was trapped. It's very... It was very strange that they gave me an option to click goodbye. Why didn't they just put that in the, like, cutscene? This stove is hardly working. That would explain the damp around here. Incredible! My colleague could at least keep a good fire going for his patients. Well, can I use the matches? This stove... You know, Watson, for all your all your complaining about your colleague, I never really see you do any doctoring. At least he's cutting off legs infected with gangrene. He's doing something with his life, Watson. Like all the sick lying here, this person is very quiet. Not surprising, Holmes, this person is too weak. She's obviously suffering from malnutrition, and for more than a few weeks now. That's kind of remarkable that you were able to diagnose that from across the room. Oh yeah, this guy. He's just living the dream. Look at him. He could not be happier. I kind of envy him. Gotta go to the other side of the like bed. Like all the sick. Not surprised. Okay, malnutrition again. Closed. Can I bust in? Can I just let's see what my inventory is? Oh, my inventory is just the the matchbook and closed. My pocket knife. I guess I'm gonna have to use the matches eventually. I already used the the knife to pry out that stone for the chess puzzle. So I guess I'm gonna have to light a fire sometime.
venturing back out into the London streets. Where all manners of nightmares dwell. Namely singing children and starving old men. So I don't know if there's anything else I need to do here. I guess I can keep exploring. Because I... let's see... Hello, hello, hello! Because we, um, we confirmed the site of the cemetery and the scalpel. And I don't really know if there's anything else that needs to be Sorry, done. Sorry, the market is closed. There's no more produce. Let me buy. Ow. Oh. Gonna cut in line. Sherlock just does not care. He will cut in line. He will cut in front of all these old ladies. I mean, hell, I cut in front of all those, like, burly dudes. Oh. Out of business, huh? Hmm. Let's oh, look Watson. for a mobile soup kitchen, Holmes. Oh, okay, so there is something left to do. Mobile soup kitchen. Is this the soup kitchen? It's... I think it might be, if I could just... Maybe I have to talk oi, to the guy first. We're oh. giving out free soup after Max, right here. Don't hesitate. Come get yours. All thanks to Prince Woodville's kind generosity. A ticket for a hot bowl of bacon soup. Excuse me, my good fellow. You don't look like the needy. We're not here for the soup. We're merely passing through. But I would like to commend you for your good charity. Ah, it's the Prince of Woodville who's the charitable one. All I'm doing is filling the bowls. For the first time ever in this area, someone's thinking of the poor people here. Look around you, at every street corner, you'll find someone giving out soup, just like me. I grew up here, and I can promise you, it's the first time the Toffs have thought about us. And no one tries to take advantage of this? No, mister, that's not possible. You have to exchange a ticket against a bowl. The tickets have the day's date on them, and are handed out after mass. That way no one can cheat. On the contrary, this ticket from Grape Ape suggests otherwise. A bowl of good bacon soup isn't for you, gentlemen. We're looking for two people called Grape Ape and Kurtz. Do you know them? Can't you see I'm giving out soup? This guy is clearly Grape Ape. Punch him out! Watson, punch him out! Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. A circulating soup kitchen. Some kind of soup dispensing device. Well, Watson, I know you're not here for soup, but... That doesn't mean I'm not. Holmes, the man from the soup kitchen isn't only in voluntary service. Look! A money game. Well, well. Aren't you going to leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? You want to play a money game? You again. You can't have any soup. You're too rich. It's for the poor, not the toffs. And what would you say to relieving two toffs of their wallets by giving them a chance at dice? <laughs> With great pleasure. What do you want to bet? Your ring against my friend's superb silver watch. Holmes, I inherited this watch from my brother. It has a great <laughs> sentimental value. Watson, show your watch to our friend here. Done. Make yourselves at home. All right, mister. First who gets 36 points wins. By rolling a die, you must reach 36 points in order to win. If your die shows... Oh. If your die shows the skull, all your points for the move are lost. Store points. Let's roll. So what is that? Is 
that means I get to keep it. And now, oh, does he roll until he gets the... Oh boy. Okay. I see. I like how the rolling effect is more just like the plate shaking. Oh, well, it does roll too, I guess. Gah, snake eyes! Yes. Yes. Booyah! Come on, give him the skull! No! Give him the skull! Oh boy. Fuck! That means I'm dead. I died. Oh boy, I'm Watson. Oh no. Watson, your watch, I'm so sorry. Watson, I am so sorry. Hey, how many times can I get a two? Twenty, uh, uh, thirty-three, one more, come on! Yes! Perfect. Perfect. Aren't you gonna leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? Yes. I am a winner. I got, I'm getting all the achievements. All the, all the rings. See, Watson, you need to have a little faith in my gambling we win. ability. Hey, not so fast! We'll play a game. Out of the question. You have lost. You owe me your ring. Oh, it means a lot to me, this ring. My dad gave it me before he died. He choked on his own glass eye. My mum didn't get over the shock of it, and she killed herself by smashing her head open with her wooden leg. And she'd only just heard that my sister, who's a prostitute, had caught an embarrassing disease that made all her hair fall out. And worse... <laughs> A dog got run over when he... As this ring holds such sentimental value for you, I will allow you to keep it. What would you say to exchanging that against some information about Grape Ape? That seems like a fair deal, don't you think? <laughs> Grape Ape works with us. He usually deals with the tickets, but we haven't seen him for a few days. Where is he usually to be found? Well, last time I saw him, he was with his mates from the dispensary. Then that deal with the morgue. Now that's all I know. It is quite good enough. Keep your ring, my good man, as a souvenir of your poor father. A souvenir of me dad, me mum, me sister, and me dog. Man, I really wanted to keep the ring. I don't even think that, that Holmes really even, like, knew that he had information on Grape Ape. I think he just wanted to gamble, to be honest. He's like, oh, yeah, I might as well. well. While we're down here, just try and get a ring out of it. And, you know, if Watson loses his his watch, well, then I guess that's just a win-win, isn't it? One further thing. You said that Grape Ape's friends work at the morgue. Which morgue? The morgue at the dispensary. I must say, they got a funny job. They wash the dead, dress them, cut their hair. They clean the blood off the floor, chase the rats, stamp on the cockroaches. Mister, I can tell you, I prefer giving out soup. There isn't a certain Kurtz amongst the employees. Listen, we didn't play for info about the whole city. I'm not telling you anything else. The dispensary has got its own morgue. Interesting. Well, yeah, I just told you so. It's the one that all the undertakers prefer. Think about it. It's just next to the cemetery. Thank you, my good man. I'll play again for information. Watson, give me your, give me your watch again. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. Holmes, my brother gave me this watch. No! Okay, I'm gonna go back to the dispensary and check out the morgue, but I might just, on my own, see if there's anything of interest down here. Maybe I can get some sweet chivos out of the... out of the deal. Nothing of interest here. Oh, I see. It was a woman singing. How can I help you? Tell me, Doctor, do you have a morgue in your dispensary? Yes, it is the busiest place in the building. We would like to see it. And the door at the far end, the one with the unpleasant smell. Very oh, that's good. probably just Watson. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. 
and take care of yourself. Okay. I got my knife at the ready. We're about to deal with a beatnik named Grape Ape. Look, home And or Kurt. A list of the recently dead. How sad. Hmm. I see names that have something in common. Well, looks like it's list puzzle time. Recent deaths from the morgue to the cemetery. Sarah Ferguson, Oliver Boxall, David Levy, Sally Petticoat, John Hamilton, suicide by poisoning. Hmm. And then James Barnaby and Harry Copperfield. So is there not actually like a a puzzle? Okay. I understand now why my colleague keeps quiet about his morgue. This place is a real mess. Concentrate, Watson. We must look for clues about Grape Ape's friends. Grape Ape sounds like a soft drink or something. It's making me kind of thirsty. Let's see. We got a. We can look at a jacket, and we can look at these tools here. Look at the state of the instruments. They've probably never been cleaned. Ugh. Did I take one of them? I did. Okay. Huh. I took those scissors. I can take more scissors? Oh, I can cut stuff up. So this is Kurtz's jacket. Watson, I don't even think this is a clue. I just feel like cutting it up. Why not, really? Snip, snip, snip. Two keys. Oh, can I, oh, okay. Snip, 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 snip. What? Oh. This is so much fun. This is more fun than it probably should be. Snip, a snip, small snip, snip. metal stem. Well, well, this Kurtz was carrying a lot of things. Three things on his jacket? My, my, that certainly is a lot of things. Snip, 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 snip. I just want to cut off the buttons. Just really want to inconvenience this guy. He's going to come back and be like, ah, jeez, what the hell? My buttons are gone. This is the worst. First, I lost my finger. The Holmes, this Oops. is Kurtz. We've just found one of the Bishop of Nicebridge's murderers. Ah, uh, shit. All right, let's look at... Ugh. I'm going to have to look at the um, conversation diary Perfect. thing. There's a map. I didn't mean to skip through what Holmes said. All right. All right, let's look. Let's see what he said. I, I apologize. Ah, oh, fuck. I got to scroll down. Ah, shit. Well, I'll have to do some movie magic, and I will pause that split second of dialogue. So, a plan. Well, that's all the proof I need. I guess I'm done cutting up his jacket. That really is a shame. That was that was probably the most fun mini game yet. Okay, let's see. We must find the place indicated with the cross on the map we found in the morgue. Oh, okay. So I guess it's gonna be. It looked like it was the cemetery. Or is this... I'll have to go outside and... I imagine it's probably the cemetery. Don't mind me, doctor. Just gonna take some, uh... 
scissors, if you don't mind.